It's time we get our GIMP on. This is not just a mission. You are going on a quest, a journey into the depths of Valhalla with no easy way out. Interesting. That was just in case you, the audience, wanted to know. We're more likely now to go on a quest, kill the bad guy, get the girl. You called me? Save the world, huzzah, everyone wins today, la di da da Better to just let me handle the fighting. I wouldn't want any of you common soldiers getting hurt. It could be the opportunity to become the hero you always What's wanted to be. It won't, but it could. Ouch. It will be the end of Yandar's famous airborne Pick. No! It's tough, the Dan get going. I am nothing if not man incarnate. Because you can't spell Dan without man. We are still stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. This power is all yeah. mine! Oh, man. Run away, coward! Where are you so I can kill you myself? You lose, Valhalla! So, Kelda, this is how your quest ends. Everyone that you've been protecting, captured or dead. I can offer you something you want. And what would that be? Power. To the death, then. Now this is a fight. Do 
You are the only one who can save Baha. We have an agreement then. Yes, Korak. We agree. I have a plan. <laughs> uh, we're all gonna die. What? Who with this guy? Welcome to TOV Live, all one of you watching tonight. It is Valhalla time. Happy Wednesday to everybody. Yes, we tonight we have, well, it's going to be kind of an easy night because, well, I'm a little sick, so, excuse me. Um, don't want to do things for too long, but we do have three things we're going to do tonight. We have um, some mail to open. I'm going to talk about that. We're going to take a look at uh, New Generation Custom... New Heroscape unit, which is like a rat, it's an undead rat. So we're gonna take a look at that, look at those stats, look at some of the lore of that. And I read an I read a story yesterday on Reddit, and I found it very inspiring, um, very very emotional, um, and it tied with uh, someone who has like a, like. A, kind of a personal journey with Hero Escape within his family. So, going to talk about that as well tonight. Oh, wait, wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. And I just messed, I pressed the wrong button here, hold on. <laughs> okay, all right, that background music gonna come on. Anyway, okay, I need to press this button. Okay, there there goes my train of thought, thought just uh, out the window. But yes, I, I'm still sick from, la from like from last Sunday. Um, but hopefully, I'm, I'm still in good spirits, though. And I go by the motto, winners play hurt. And so, guess what? I am definitely going to be playing. Um, here, I'll get this. Make sure to do this housekeeping thing. So we've got uh, all our I's dotted and T's crossed here. Hi, I am Ryan, a.k.a. Tales of Valhalla, or you can call me Tales. And usually, talking about playing or as a stop-motion animator that I am, um, create stop-motion animations for the greatest game of all time, Heroescape. And this is what this channel, this YouTube channel is dedicated for, if you're watching on uh, Twitch as well. Um, I stream there too. Um, but uh, tonight, yeah, we, um, we, have some, we have some packages here. We have some packages here. I got a few more boxes over here. And I'm gonna open them open them up. Most of them are stuff that I've purchased, um, but there's one box I got from a member of the TOV community. Um, how, how would I put it? Uh, it's someone I really don't know all that well. His name's Garanex. Hi, Paul. Uh, no, no, I, I know him. It's just a, it's just a running joke. But he sent me a big box. I think he said mostly it's just broken stuff. But I'm like, oh, I'll box it and we'll see what it is. <laughs> um, anyway, and you're probably gonna hear that schnozola tonight because yeah. Yeah, half sick. Not fun. Man, yeah, tonight's not going to be uh, that strenuous for me. Um, and I'm just going to... And I'm starting a little bit early, too, because I'm going to try to finish early. I know I said, like, around 9.30 I was going to start. 
uh, but I decided to start just a little bit early. And so let me uh, get to it. I think um, since I, I I think the the person who did this uh, story, I think his last his name is JJ, I believe JJ Odin, I believe. Um, I think he said he was going to try to get on um, in the chat tonight. So and since he thinks it's around 9:30 um, EST, um, then he might be waiting a half hour before uh, he he even sees uh, this live stream notification. So. Um, I'll wait to, if I see him in the chat um, in the next half hour, and if I don't, um, then by 9.30 or a little bit before 9.30, I'll, 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 I'll read uh, his story. Um, and link in the description below uh, for uh, the, the Reddit post um, that I'm talking about. Um, link, link in the description below for everything that we'll be talking about tonight, um, just so you know. I'd like to give those endorsements, but let us first then go through a little bit of NGC stuff. We'll just get out, that out of the way first and talk about it. Uh, here, and I gotta get, gonna, gonna get, cause I got a new NGC logo here. Look at that, Isn't that lovely. Just, it fits right in between the TOV logo and the Hero Escape logo right there. So remind me to put that down once we're done with the NGC stuff. <laughs> all right, and so we're gonna get back to opening all the goodies that I have in the mail in a little bit. But right now, let's explore some of NGC first. Put this off. Nope, no, 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 it's the wrong button again. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I messed up the music again because I hit the wrong thing. It, I, I blame um, my my gro groggy sinuses. Okay, that is the one I want to see. Okay, so let me see here. Whoa, okay, yep, that's how I want to do it. Okay. So NGC, again, link description below if you want to look at NGC stuff. Um, but we have the Book of Scrimp. So NGC just released this April 1st. Almost like an April Fool's thing, but we're not fooling around. This is an actual real unit. It's an undead rat. And the cool thing is, I called it I called it a long time ago. Um, it was uh, when they were releasing stuff in October, there was a photograph with some things they're were, they were releasing, and Scramp was there in the photo, and I saw it, and I pointed it out, and like, that looks like something undead that they'll probably release in the future, and I was right. You can see the receipts. You can go back to the stream. I called it. I called it. So anyway, Book of Scramp. And let's take a look at this. Okay. So here's a little bit of lore in the back of it. Here, let's see. Can we get? No. Nope. All right. All right. All right. All right. Forget it. Uh, let me try and make just this a little bit bigger, hopefully, so we can see this card. Kind of. I guess I'll have to read it. Uh, here, let me try and zoom in just a little bit more. I, th I think you all can, can see it now. So, here we are. Rabid Rush. Look at, look at it in the cute little undead rat in the... Yeah. Uh, okay, Scrimp, um, Revna is the Valkyrie General, an undead, unique hero, savage, wild, small three, look at that little guy, Rabid Rush, oh, it's okay, one life, move of six spaces, so this, this guy can move fast, range of one, attack of two, defense of two, so tiny attack, tiny defense, but only ten points, so it's, it's a ten point undead thing that you can just fill in an army a little bit. Rabid Rush. At the end of a round, you may reveal an X order marker on this army card to take a turn with Scrump. During this turn, Scrump rolls two additional attack dice. Now that's kind of cool. So we're utilizing the X order marker. So oh, this is interesting. So technically, if you have other, you know, um, uh, other squads and stuff, you can take four turns in a round instead of the th usual three. Utilizing the X marker. That is cool. I like that. Climb times two. When moving up or down uh, levels of terrain, Scrimp may decide uh, it's or may, Scrimp may double its height, and it's got disengage as well. So that is that's a fun little unit. Um, now they need to make like a, a Scrimp common squad or you know um, like undead rat common squad or something. Uh, they say that you should let dead dogs lie. Dead rats are a different story entirely. <laughs> The Halla April Fool's special one. <laughs> that's that's really cool. All right, so let here I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Let's see what it says about Scrimp here. 
in the notes. So there's the cards. Um, I'll probably play Scrimp sometime. I personally don't have a miniature of it, but I'm sure sometime this year I'll I'll try and get one. Um, let's see, the figure used is 3D, a printable giant rat rev um, revenant from Epic Miniatures. Uh, okay, I'm left one. Sorry, I'm reading it wrong. Again, brain. Okay, let me take a drink. I'm going to take a drink. Just hold on. It's probably better if I do that. Said I'm, I'm kind of running on uh, medication right now. So, okay. Written by Anatar. Thank you so much, Anatar. Um, let's see here. Journal of Medios, the Great and Powerful. He who has never been paralleled, victor of a thousand battles. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, the text diary of is faintly legible. Okay, um, but vigorously scratched out. Journal of Meto Me Meteos, the great and powerful, he who has never been paralleled, um, victor of a thousand battles. That's funny. Day zero. Local calendar is a pain to navigate. Here, I reject it. Instead, use my own. Day two. Each day, in my unflinching diligence, I trade for seven hours, then take a mighty drink from the nearest river. A curious sight awaited me at this river, a dire cave rat that seemed to have the same brilliant idea as myself. I, of course, have observed that all manner of cave rat hide away in their caves and crevices, so this was quite out of place. Day 3. The rat returned to the same river, as did I. I choose to draw closer to it to get an even better look at this little misfit. When I did, the rat looked me, the rat looked me straight in the eyes. Without even a hint of intimidation, I admit I found myself quite taken with that incredible moxie just as the rat is taken with my natural charisma and impeccable grace <laughs> day four as of today my household has a new member when i formally approached and introduced myself to the rat he screeched and leapt atop my back now this would be kind of frightening if this is an undead rat i realized it was trying to tell me its name which I have determined to be Scrimp. Even as I now write this journal entry in the security of my lodgings, he or she, it would be uncloth for, of me to check, rem, remains clinging to me. Not even could I say no to such a heartfelt expression of love. Of course, it's all love. I mean, look at that face. Look at the face a mother would love, you know? <laughs> ah, day 8. Scrimp. Scrimp is ever so full of surprises as I dove into a glorious battle. She leapt from the safety of my back and into the fray, slashing an adversary's throat while I was preoccupied. Truly a warrior at heart, and a warrior after my own heart as well. What Scrimp wants, Scrimp must get. I say he and I shall fight together. Day 17. So day to day 17. Another battle, another victory. Scrimp and myself as always were the stars of the show, acting in perfect concert. Each enemy slain is a clear indicator that I was right to adopt my power with my wonderful companion, and no act of war can ever tear us apart. Day 22. Tragedy strikes. Okay, so this is Scrimp before Scrimp is undead. Scrimp. My, so we need to have a live Scrimp sometime in the future then, maybe. <laughs> Tragedy strikes. Scrimp, my dear precious Scrimp, has succumbed to the maddening sickness. She is dead. And now it's a she. All hope is dead. And if news spreads, my reputation is dead as well. I mourn in silence. My allies still need my presence to sustain their morale. Day 24. I arranged for a private audience with General Revna. She brought me back from the veil of death when she summoned me. After all, is there nothing she can do for Scrimp? Oh, that's interesting. That's a nice little bit of lore. She told me that she couldn't promise results, yet within a matter of minutes, Scrimp lurched up to his feet once more. He draws no breath, his skin is tattered, and he moves without the noble bearing that we once shared. But he is returned to me. That is all that matters. Uh, day 51. Another tragedy, or perhaps a repeat of the previous one. Despite my continuing efforts to protect Scrump, she was struck down by a human who had somehow outmaneuvered me. 
but all is not lost. Ravana has helped me before, and I will not rest until she helps me again. This is kind of funny. <laughs> I'm not going to laugh They're too loud. Day 66. This time, it was a bad band of Solborgs. They struck from three sides at once. I can block only two at a time, and my allies failed to block the third. Scrump has fallen, but it will rise again. It must. Revna will make sure. <laughs> For the love of a rat. <laughs> day 94. Archers. My hatred of archers has grown immeasurably on this day. I struck them all down, but it was too late. I need Revna's help once more. Day 121. I can trust in Revna. I have to. Time and time again. I make sure she deserves my trust. Day 127. Not even a week after the previous incident, it is a cruel world that I live in, and a cruel world that Scrump, must, that Scrump always returns to. But that is why I fight, and that is why I fight for Revna. She has never let me down yet. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, I had a cough. Okay, so we got the powers. We already read the powers. Let's see, synergies. So... Uh, can trigger zombie hawk zombie rises again okay cool um imposed um successful to okay turn undead special attack so okay so yeah, it's affected by um holy symbol of tanashi's uh, vulnerable to van nessing um but is basically uh <laughs> has synergies with like other like vce undead um and is immune to zombie so it's if, if the rat's facing zombies um if they kill it it you can't get another zombie from it so that's kind of cool but can trigger um zombie hawks zombies rise again so that's kind of cool um cannot be replaced by nicholas s and wine's bloodborne rising that's cool because the things it can do as an undead things this this thing can do as an undead but so my question if anybody in ngc is out there um if if uh the undead savage um, uh, if this synergy can be granted what if um because it doesn't say i'm guessing no but um if scrump is fighting alongside the, the regular zombies um uh, would the zombies rise again work with the regular zombies um the zombies of morandam um, if it works with Zombie Hawk, would it work with the other zombies or no? I guess that would be my question. <laughs> my guess is probably not. But yeah, so there it is, Scrump. Oh, I can't wait to play that little thing. That, that seems like a lot of fun. Another fun unit to add to your undead army. <laughs> um, and before we move on to... Um, I got... A message from Sir Roguescaper, and again, link in the description below for NGC, for uh, Roguescaper, uh, for his for his channel and stuff. Um, check him out, give, give him some subscription love because uh, he does a lot of work with this stuff with NGC and others. Um, but uh, Roguescaper sent me a few photos of what's coming up um, with the NGC a release that sh they should be releasing by the uh, the uh, wait, it's April. Yeah, I think by the end of April, um, they plan to release their next wave. And uh, he sent me some photos, and he's like, he told me there's some like stuff that you haven't seen be seen before. Uh, that that is like a clue, like clues towards what's going to be um, coming out in the future. So let's take a look at these photos real quick. <laughs> let's take a look. Okay, so there's Scrump, and so here we are. And by the way, uh, Josiah, your photo taking is amazing. Um, it makes me feel like I need to start animating again. And I start setting up stuff because <laughs> this is just really good shots. But uh, yeah, what are these? Um, these are the stalkers, I believe, and scrimp. And we got some we got a desert theme going on here <laughs> with cactuses. But th what I found very interesting that's just right here in the middle of the photo at first I thought, okay, this is a painted Braxis, but it's angled a little bit differently than Braxis, and you can see the highlights are different. This is a different dragon. My guess is that this is an NGC dragon of some kind. 
and I'm very, very interested <laughs> to what type of dragon they're going to be producing. Um, if that, if this is the case, I mean, this is just a guess, but I'm guessing that NGC might be releasing the dragon sometime soon. Oh, there he is, son of Odin. I just logged in, went back to the beginning and heard you mention waiting for me and hop in in the comments. So here I am. Thank you. And I just call you JJ. Um, welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome to TLV Live, uh, JJ there. Um, yeah, let me just uh, go through these photos, and we're going to get to your story in just a couple of minutes, sir. Uh, I was I was definitely waiting for you. I did start a little bit early. As you can tell, I have a little bit of a cold, um, so it's going to be relatively uh, a short stream. Okay, okay, JJ, awesome. Um, but yeah, let me, let me just go through these couple photos that I was given today, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll start with that. We'll start with that right away. Um, okay, so this dragon, so I think this is this is a big clue that they're going to have a dragon soon. And see, there's Krampus, and I just, ah, it's just like, I like that undead rat, that is so cool. Um, and just, Justin says, Revna needs a dragon. Yeah, yeah, that could be a Revna-type dragon, I don't know, we'll see. Um, and JJ, just so you know, um, these miniatures, they come from um, a custom uh, group called uh, NGC Customs, link in the description below for them. Um, and they've been creating a lot of miniatures based off like the age, the, the current age of Annihilation run. Um, they started doing it before um, Renegade said they're going to release everything. Um, so now they're now they're making an, instead of like copies of what's coming out of Age of Annihilation or, or close copies, they, they're making their own stuff, um, but still stem from the Age of Annihilation uh, phase of things. Um, so that's what I'm going through right now, and so this is part of what they're releasing. So now these guys, these guys have got um, Roguescaper was gracious enough to send me uh, a few of these, a few of these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JJ, check them out. Um, I mean. I mean, NGC, um, C3V, I, I know the customs, once you get into them, it's like a black hole, which you never come out of, but but they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. And when it comes to like um, some of the tournaments that um, people sometimes go to, um, they try to, they do their best to balance it out with, with, the, with the core game. Um, and everything balances fairly, fairly well. Um, so, okay. And so the only thing I see in this that, is interesting because this is obviously part of the new wave um, that's coming out at the end of the month. Um, I see these structures back here. I don't know what this white thing is back here, um, but I see these like pillar structures. That's something 3D printed that I haven't seen before. And this is a different type of cactus. Um, but yeah, I mean, wonderfully painted. Like these are painted by Roguescaper and they are just beautiful. And again, um, if you haven't, uh, link in the description below for Roguescaper's channel. Check him out. Um, he is. He, he does he does um, paintings for commission too, so. All right, and in this photo, the last photo he sent me, again we got more of the same miniatures here, a venom f for for some reason right here, um, but I noticed like in the background here, like these archways, like these desert type archways, is very interesting. And then there's something else. What is that back there? Okay, that's I think it's another stalker. Yeah, I think it's another stalker. Um, they just fade in the background, but in the background here, like, got these stalactite type archways. I wonder if they'll play a, uh, a spot in those, but interesting. But again, Rogue Saber, wonder, wonderful, uh, photographs he's taken. Um, the guy has a really good eye. He's got a really good eye. He should. He should. He's, I mean, he's, um, he's done, he's done filmmaking a little better. He went to school for it, so... Thank you so much, Roguescaper, for these photos. They were really cool. And that, and that is taking a look at uh, NGC, what they have, um, the Book of Scrimp. And how about we get to our next segment then here. I'm just going to turn the see, NGC thing off. Um, give me a second to cough um, and clear my throat. Aye. Aye. Holds. Aye. All right. Now let's let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. So um, again, JJ is, is in the chat there, I believe, um, and you can find this book 
on Amazon or here through Lulu. Just look up the Wellspring War. Um, and I have a link in the description below for uh, the Amazon, I think. Um, the link to the Amazon <laughs> book. Um, and we're going to get into uh, why JJ wrote this in a second. Um, but I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. Um, so let's go. Um, now, I mean, I'm on Reddit sometimes. And uh, for some reason, um, actually, I think I think someone posted this link on Discord, and saying saying something. You got you got to read this story, um, to like to the HeroScape community, and so you know I, I clicked on a link and I read through it, and I'm just like I I have like I mean, let, yesterday I was still sick, but I got tears coming from my eyes because just like it was um, very inspirational, very moving. So here we go. Uh, posted by JJ Odin. Uh, and the title is, After Almost Seven Years, I Was Finally Able to Play Again. And uh, there is a link in the description below for um, the Reddit post if you want to you click on it and read it for it yourself. And give a comment, and give some support uh, to him. And here we have a picture. Um, looks like a little bit of the, the starter set of Heroescape. You know, classic at the dice there. You got other armies you know, facing each other. Really cool. And I'm hoping my throat doesn't doesn't go on me. Here, hold on a second. All right, so let's go through this uh, this photograph, and let me get to reading this here. Hold on a second. Let me. Okay, I'm gonna work, get this a little bit wider, and get the words a little bit bigger here. Whoop! Nope, a little too much. All right, I think that works. Okay. It says, uh, let's "See your TLDR after." Almost seven years, the loss of a brother, a house fire, two college degrees, congratulations on that, JJ, and a wedding, congratulations on that too, uh, I finally got my favorite childhood game again. So here's what he says. Heroescape has always had a special place in my heart. When I was a kid, Santa got my brothers and I Rise of the Valkyrie uh, set for Christmas. We instantly fell in love, and over the course of the coming birthdays and Christmases, we proceeded to acquire almost every model we could from eBay, despite the game being discontinued. <laughs> so this is this is like the past 15 years or so. Uh, as a child, it was always my favorite game. And while I'm sure we didn't get the rules right ever, we had a blast playing. <laughs> Uh, our games were massive, and they would often drag on for hours across multiple days before we would inevitably pick up before completing the game, either because someone was bored of playing or because someone was getting beaten too badly to <laughs> desire to continue. Um, yeah, this reminds me of when Jason introduced me to Hero Escape. He's a friend of mine who we... we um. Uh, we rented a, an apartment with another, another guy um, way back when, like 2005, 2004, 2005. And uh, he introduced me to Hero Escape, and he would kick my butt for just the longest time. But he's a good he, he's a good uh, player on on many miniature war games. And I was a very very new, very novice. I'm still novice. Okay. And then, seven and a half years ago, my brother Jake asked me to play a game of Hero Escape with him. This was unusual, since I usually had to beg my younger brothers for days to play before they would eventually cave in and play with me just to shut me up. So are, are, are you... Um, I, I, ma I imagine when I'm reading this, JJ, that um, you have a lot of siblings. My, my guess is probably like half a dozen or so. Would probably be my guess. Um, it was unheard of for one of them to ask me to play, so naturally I accepted. We set up and played the game in one evening, with the mission kind of being ca a capture the flag style objective. It was a hard fought battle, but ultimately, through the use of Sergeant Drake Alexander's Thorian speed ability, I captured my brother's flag and won the game. 
uh, see what JJ says. Not quite half a dozen, but almost. Okay, I get it. I, I come from like a family of, uh, well, five, technically six, um, but one did pass away. Um, uh, basically just after birth. So, um, so yeah, I got it. Um, uh, see, I captured my brother's flag and won the game. Uh, for the first time in years, he had completed a game with me. We went to bed and didn't think anything further of it. The, f the following morning, driving home... Oh, so this was the following morning. Oh, wow. Uh, the following morning, driving home from working in a field, our pickup was hit by a driver who was high on no less than three illicit substances, including meth. Our vehicle rode over through a ditch. Uh, my brother was ejected uh, from the passenger side door. I was miraculously unharmed. Once my airbag had gone down, I crawled through the truck toward my brother, who was lying in a ditch. Uh, moments later, he died in my arms. Yeah. What can I say about that? Um, well, let me just continue, and then we'll get back to that because I'm I'm afraid I'm gonna just get overcome with uh, with uh, too much sniffles here, and I'm already congested. Uh, we'll get we'll get back to that. Um, these two events happened just ten days before the start of my senior year of high school. Needless to say, I was devastated. I miss my brother dearly but I couldn't help but feel grateful for his suggestion to play Hero Escape with me the night before he passed. During my senior year, as a tribute to my brother, I wrote a self-published novel for my senior project based on the events of the Swarm of the Morrow storyline. <laughs> Sounds to me you know, like you're a little bit of a storyteller, JJ. <laughs> Uh, adding only one character to the story who wasn't already a HeroScape character. That character was named Dakota, Jake's middle name, and he was the brother of Sergeant Drake Alexander. Through the story, I explored the loss, grief, and healing process that I went through over the course of my senior year. Here, give me a second. A couple of years later, as a sophomore in college, I met a beautiful woman on my dorm floor. Ain't it grand uh, when that type of thing happens? Not too long after, she was my girlfriend, and we were visiting my parents' home for the first time. Naturally, I had to show her all the figures my fa of my favorite game ever. So I pulled out all of our old HeroScape stuff and nerded out. Isn't it great to have a woman who um, can kind of nerd out with you a little bit, you know? It's it's fun. I'm um, By the way, JJ, I'm married almost 15 years now uh, to my wife, and uh, she's not as nerdy as me, but um, she... Uh, uh, well, let's just say she's beat me in HeroScape before. Yeah, well, let's put it away. She'll, that's the one thing she'll want me to add, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Somewhere out of this picture, somewhere out there is a picture of me excitedly holding the Spider-Man Hero Escape figure, her favorite superhero. Oh, that's cool. She promised she would eventually play the game with me, but didn't feel like doing it at the moment. So all of the tiles, glyphs, and figures went back into their tubs and back into the cabinet. Six months later, in January of 2020. Um, Let's see here, and, and JJ says, it's amazing to be married to a nerd, and congrats. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, congrats to you as well. Um, in January 2020, tragedy struck my family again as my childhood home caught fire. Fortunately, my father was home, and he was able to call the fire department and rescue some of my late brother's belongings from the inferno. <laughs> Uh, when the fire department arrived, they put out the fire fast enough that much of our home and belongings were still intact. That all happened on a Wednesday. Naturally, I went home that weekend to help my family pick through the ashes and salvage what we could. 
Having been stored in tubs in a cabinet in our basement, much of the Heroscape items made it through. Most are now warped and discolored from the heat and covered in soot, but they survived. <laughs> Unfortunately, as anyone who has salvaged anything from a fire will tell you, anything that close to an inferno for that long tends to absorb the smell of smoke almost indefinitely. A cleaning service did what they could to rid our hairscape models and terrain of the scent. It's amazing how much care you, you tried putting into these old things. Um, but it wasn't enough. By the time the restoration was complete and we had received our boxes, my parents had built a new house and I had finished my undergraduate degree and started graduate school. I opened the boxes and was assaulted by the stench of smoky models. <laughs> You're welcome that had been stored in an airtight container for far too long. Yeah. But I can I can see why you wanted to keep them. Um, because they meant something, you know. That's a little part of uh, that memory. So I get it. Um, with nowhere to air out the models, and no way to remove the scent, I sealed up the boxes and stuffed them in the closet in my new room at my parents' house with the intention of keeping them more as mementos than as functional models. At that point, I resolved that I would never play my favorite game again, unaware of the HasLab, contain, HasLab campaign or any other attempt to revive the game. Dang, dude, you you have a lot. You get you got a lot of uh, things to catch up on if you want uh, if you're. Looking on this channel, uh, we go way back. I mean, the TOV podcast, um, if, you, if you haven't seen on my channel, um, the TOV podcast started because of that um, that original HasLab campaign. It was one of the better things to come out of that campaign, actually. Fast forward two more years in the completion of a master's degree, and I stumbled across the subreddit while, working, while at work one day. The post that was suggested to me by the all-knowing Reddit algorithm, <laughs> a post detailing the coming announcement that Heroescape was being revived one week before the live stream. <coughs> Excuse me. Obviously, I raced home that day to tell my wife, the same girl who has the Spider-Man picture, the good news. Her response was perfect. No matter what, you're watching that live stream, and I don't care what the cost is, you're pre-ordering all of it. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, uh, so I sat on the couch the following Friday like a child eager to open Christmas presents as the live stream began. I cheered with each revealed model. When the live stream ended, I got a phone call from one of my buddies from high school. He used to play the game with me uh, some. And we talked um, eccentrically about the coming revival of such an amazing game. <laughs> A few weeks ago, the opportunity presented itself for me to go back to my parents' home and bring the boxes of Heroescape back to my house. I did some research on removing the smoky smell from items and built a homemade ozone box to help rid of the stench faster. Ah, resourceful. All in preparation for this coming August. Here, hold on. Whew, I'm gonna get through it. I'm gonna get through it. Winners play hurt. I'm gonna get through it. <laughs> However, as I began unpacking the boxes, I found that some of the terrain didn't need cleaned like the rest of the models did. So once I had thoroughly cleaned every model we owned and inspected every piece of terrain, I finally had the opportunity to teach my wife my favorite game ever. I made sure that we played the game correctly this time and we had a blast even if the game was a little smaller than the epic battles that I was used to playing. If you made it this far in this post, thank you for reading. I hope you were able to get the same amount of joy of it that I had writing it. This game was a beacon of light for me in the darkest times of my life, and I'm so grateful to be part of this wonderful community. Know that you're all loved, and have a great day. Mm. <sighs> okay. 
Well, first off, cheers to your bro. Cheers to Jake. Uh, oh, and uh, JJ saying thank you so much for reading this. No man, it's my um, uh, my honor. My honor. Um, like, and I'm sorry, if the car's peeling out, like some feet away from uh, this microphone. Um, JJ, I mean, I don't know if you know much about uh, my background and how I started this channel, but. Um, and I'm not going to talk too much about it because I already have um, in other videos, but um, I've gone through a lot of hell myself. But uh, I'll tell you one thing. Um, I, I've never, um, and I, I've got brothers and sisters, um, but I've never had to hold them in the arms and watch them die. So, um, I mean, I understand the uh, trauma of like being in an accident when I was... Um, <laughs> I was like uh, like seven, eight years old. I just learned how to ride a bike and uh, a truck that was uh, speed up and down our street um, basically hit me. And so I was the one actually being held. And uh, thank God that, you know, I I lived through that um, miraculously. Uh, and um, I've, I've and I mean, within my family, there's been you know traumatic things happening. Um, I have a baby sister who passed away uh, just a few hours living. My wife, um, her her mom, uh, died when a vehicle hit her, in uh, when she was like 18 um, after graduating her high school, and she she was living in Central America at the time. Um, and she still she still carries you know that trauma as one is is want to do. Um, so I, I have an idea. Um, but um, I do know like the value of uh, of having something like this, having this like. I would say medium, just um, something that can bring you, you know, together with with people um, and family. Um, which was uh, some of the creators of this game. Their intent was to uh, bring you know uh, parents and, and children together um, and just just have fun as a family. Um, that that's that's part of that legacy. And. Uh, it, it, it's the unfortunate thing going through life that uh, we're going to lose people. It's just one of those uh, facts of life that um, nothing lasts forever. But I would say for those of us who are still here, um, we do what we can to be a force for good and to make those who have gone on before us we do what we can to make them proud so that someday when we see them again uh, there'll be no reason to have shame so and JJ I mean I don't know <laughs> I, I don't know you, you know, we just, we only like, uh, communicated via Reddit, you know, the, uh, um, yesterday. Uh, I mean, you seem like, uh, you know, a very educated young man. It seems like you're, you know, just, uh, newly married. Congratulations on that. Um, and so, I mean, I hope the best for you and, uh, and the rest of your family as well. Um, but, uh, yeah. I just want to say just thank you so much. And, and again, um, when JJ was describing the, uh, the novel that he wrote um, about his brother and his senior year, that this is a novel that I showed at the very beginning. And uh, JJ was saying that uh, half the proceeds to the novel goes towards a charity um, that his brother was part of. Um, so I already purchased one. And... 
I am going to be getting it, and I'm going to read it. And um, for a TV podcast lore segment, uh, I'll read it like I'll read a page or two um, of it, and uh, um, see if we can get a few more people to uh, to uh, you know t- take a look at it and and um, do some things in the memory of your brother. And okay, Heather Odin. So I imagine Heather is is your wife, JJ. <laughs> Um, well, welcome to the stream, Heather. Um, I think uh, your husband. Um, I mean, without without meeting him, I think he's he's a he's a person that has um, uh, a good imagination, you know, a good uh, uh, a good grounded mind. Oh, she oh she's a mom. Oh, your mom. Okay, okay, Heather. Okay, apologize. Um, so mom's on the. Uh, uh, on the stream. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, bless you. Bless you. Wow. Um, yeah. Um, well, okay. Uh, uh, let me rephrase that then. Your son, um, he's someone that you should be proud of. You should be proud of. Um, and, uh, and I mean, I just, I just think my, I mean, my mom has lost a child as well. Um, and, uh, that type of trauma, it's, it's, it's always with you, you know, it's, it's always with you. Um, but, uh, I mean, like, like, like I was saying before, we just got, got to live, um, the best we can to make them proud. Um, so yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. No. Yeah. yeah you're JJ and Jake's mom. Gotcha. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I think your son um, seems like he's a good storyteller. I can't wait to um, get get his book and and give it a read um, and uh, see what type of good storyteller he is. I I personally I do um, I've done uh, a stop motion animation series uh, based off of Hero Escape. I got three seasons worth of it. <laughs> Um, uh, on on this YouTube channel, and uh, so I'm I'm quite a storyteller myself. So I I, I would like to see what JJ does, and maybe possibly um, if I don't know what he does, what what his line line of work. Okay, Allison. Okay, there's the wife. Okay, so everything I said before, there there's that. The whole family's the whole family's coming online. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, Allison. Bless you. Bless you, Heather. <laughs> um. And yeah, I like to see what type of storytelling ideas he have he has because um, when it comes to Tales of a Howl, the Aftermath Chronicles, um, I have my own characters um, in this in this uh, stop motion uh, a series that I've done, and um, yeah, I, li- I like to see what what JJ has done in the storytelling sense, and maybe just maybe. <laughs> I may be able to integrate JJ's character, um, uh, based off his brother, into my series, because um, uh, some of the characters, um, like one of the characters of the Airborne Elite, um, that I have as the main protagonist in my series, um, one of them represents uh, my uh, both my grandfathers, but one in particular who was a World War II vet, and. And uh, the first name of that character is Harold, and Harold was my grandpa. So I kind of base it off uh, uh, and, and to honor uh, my grandfather's. Um, so I'm not like I said, I'm not promising anything um, because script writing is just awful, and I am on a break right now. But doing future seasons, um, yeah, yeah, I could I could definitely I could definitely think about it and see how I could uh, ma- manage um, doing something because uh, the the character of Drake Alexander in the series is very out of this, this world that I have in my series. I, I, I try to keep it um, as close to the HeroScape lore as possible, but I take creative liberties in it. So, um, here, hold on a second, hold on a second. Uh, excuse me, okay, cold. But yeah, again, uh, everybody watching, um, check out uh, The Wellspring War. And again, 
um, like sometimes probably the next uh, TV podcast, um, but the next TV podcast or the one after, um, we'll 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 read a page or two um, of what he wrote and try to get some uh, get get some peoples to to read some of this uh, interesting lore. It's interesting. It's not it's not uh, not every day you come across a hero's game novel. So um, so you're just okay. Let me let me read some of this. Uh, Sierra Heather, the mom, says, bless you. Thanks for reading this. Um, it's my honor. Um, uh, yeah, JJ says that would be so cool. Well, we'll see. Um, and let's see here. Justin says, someday I hope to have a wife that not only accepts my hair escape habit, um, but encourages it. Sounds like you got a good one, JJ. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's always good to have, um, you know, someone in your life who's like almost as nerdy as you, you know. Um, but... Now, I am going to move on, if I may. Again, oh, and let me just do one more thing. One more thing. Um, I mean, I, I don't have much in this, but um, moment of silence and uh, and a toast for um, for for Jake, um, for your family, um, and for all those out there who uh, who you know grieving. Uh, loved ones and may we see them again someday yeah. moment of silence people And then toast to you guys, to your family. Cheers. Even though this is not alcohol. But it's the best thing I can do. <laughs> Alright, let's get into the mailbag then and see what type of um, HeroScape type stuff I got. Again, thank you guys for jumping on the stream so much. Um, you're welcome to stick around if you want. Um, hopefully it won't take me too long to open up these boxes. And then I'm going to uh, cut out and uh, get some rest because I am not 100% yet with my health. But anyway, okay. So let's open up some of this stuff. I have, I have like boxes of stuff over here. Let me see what I got here. Oh, so this is wrapped up. Let's see here. Justin says, between the Source Kickstarter and the Renegade pre or I have over $800 into the relaunch. Never waited a long time, never thought it would happen. Yep. A lot of us are hurting out. Okay. So this is, okay, this is the first one. Now, this is um, a mold, or miniature, mm. excuse me, of a Death Knight. Now, normally... A regular HeroScape a miniature of a Death Knight is really expensive, but these are a bit cheaper if you find the old, like the older D and D models of it. The same miniature, basically. It's just they're just cheaper, and you can rebase it and then just use it in your HeroScape gameplay. And I hear that with Raylan, um, at least from uh, Sir HeroScape's channel, that Death Knights. Are a huge possibility to use with Raylan. So I'm trying to get as many miniatures as I can of these guys so I can eventually use them uh, with uh, the AOA Raylan uh, in the future. All right. Next. Uh, any other questions anybody has uh, asking me? Uh, the, the Odin family, which is an awesome last name, Odin. Um, feel free to. Or if there's anything that, that you guys want me to say about your family, your brother, I'd be happy to. Um, and JJ, uh, one other thing too that I probably want to say, if you want to, I don't know how well you are, um, or how, how uh, no, not well you are, how, how you would handle being live on air. But if you want to come onto the podcast 
and read with us some pages of your book, um, you're welcome to. Just find a way to contact me on Discord or you know email, and, and we can set that up. That's no problem. You can be a guest. I have no problem with that. So just let me know. Okay, and the, let's see here. We've got some of these guys. Again, um, D and D miniatures um, that can be hero escape miniatures. You just need to rebase them. Um, I, these are like goblin cutters. Um, so I'm getting a trying to get a bunch of these. Um, let's see here. Uh, JJ says I certainly reach out. Yeah, please do. Please do. Um, pretty busy, but um, yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely find a way to get in touch. If you can come on, that would be awesome. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Through this package here. Everything's taped. Tape, 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 tape. Oh, by the way, I just got to say, hi, Justin. How are you doing tonight as well? It's always good to have you on, sir. Okay, let me get this off. And I think this one is... Okay. And this is a this is an orc miniature. But again, um, Death Death Chasers of Thresk. But it's the D&D &D model version. Still the same miniature. So again, just, just using, using, using. Because, I mean, some of these common squads... You would spend hundreds of dollars trying to get all these common squads. And so much cheaper just uh, trying to find the DUV miniature version. I mean, they still cost a little bit of money, but not as much as the HeroScape stuff. Alright. Let's see here. Let me get into this one. Alright, there's a little bunch in here. And I apologize for for the reading of your thing, JJ, that my throat was just so terrible tonight. You know, I could have waited, but I'm just like, nah, I gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta do it tonight. Okay. So I don't need these. Okay, let's get these out. Okay, again, another Death Knight. Boom. So there you go. I have one squad already. And then this is a bugbear. Um... And I forget what they're what squad they're called. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, uh, Jay says, "Don't worry about you doing great." Oh, th I, thank you. I appreciate it. I guess my voice is a little bit deeper, so maybe that helps. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So these are horn skull brutes. Um, they're they're called bugbears though in the D and D realm. Like I said, you just get get the right miniature and boom. <coughs> and. Got more goblin cutters. Boom, boom. And what is this? Okay. And this is a war forged. So it, it's very convenient for like the um like when HeroScape was about to get discontinued, some of the models that they released were just were just um reprints of like other D D molds. So so you can basically find them. And and get those D&D &D molds, you know, online in different places, a lot cheaper. Let's see, and this is another yeah, another goblin cutter. Like some of these squads are like common squads. So you want to try and get a bunch as much as you can. Like, I mean, these goblin cutters, what? They're like a buck or two each, I think. Or maybe, maybe more like, like three bucks each or something. But they're not that much. Which is fine, because I am broke. So your Justin says, A. <laughs> okay. I, I think he meant to type something else, but. Alright. Let me get this out here. What is this? There's something in here? Oh yeah, there they are. Okay. Alright, and then I know my last my last uh, mail unboxing I got from Rye Guy. Um, so some mesodemons, like two squads worth of mesodemons, and I'm like, you know what? I need a few more squads worth of mesodemons. So found out that there are D&D &D 
versions of these mesodemons as well. So they don't cost as much. So yeah, come skate con. I might go with a mesodemon army. I don't know. We'll see. I might go full Valkyrie here. here. Dustin says, D and D waves feature some great figures. Yes, it did. And actually, I, I find that the um, let's see, and this one is kind of broken, but that's okay. That glue can can fix them. Um, what what I found interesting with these D and D waves that the original D and D miniatures, um, they seem like they the molds are better and seems like they're painted better than, than the HeroScape counterparts. <laughs> just just kind of funny. All right, so I got those now. I can get this next one here. This is the, I'm gonna bring this up here. Whoa! Now this one, this box, um, came to me from um, a member of the community. Sent me, and and I, I don't know what's gonna be in here, but um, Garen X, aka I don't know who this this person is, um, aka yes I do. It's just an old joke, uh, Paul. Um, uh, messaged me like a few months back saying, hey, I got all these broken HeroScape things. Um, can I send them to you? Because with my animations sometimes, or I, I use, you know, broken HeroScape stuff. And I'm like, sure, go ahead and send it to me. So I've, I've been keeping it in the back here. I haven't even opened it to see what's in it yet. And so let's just take a look and see what uh, he sent me. So, so thank you, Paul, um, I think. <laughs> Or, no, I appreciate it, though. A a anytime, you know, people send me stuff, and I've had a few people uh, send me stuff just from their own generosity, I, I appreciate it a lot. All right, so let's take a look at this. Hmm, interesting. I see some things in here that are definitely not Heroscape. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's some miniatures here. Okay, we'll take a look at those in a second. A lot of broken pieces, but oh, that's some terrain stuff. Interesting. This is kind of like a rocky terrain. I don't know. I might be able to use it somehow. I always like custom terrain type stuff. There's a little bit of rocky terrain there. And then this, I do, this is Fisher Price. I don't, I don't know what to make of this. It's incomplete. But maybe I give it to my son. I don't know. Let's see. It's like a Fisher Price. It's, it's terrain. Kind of. <laughs> well, thank you, Paul. Maybe, maybe I give it to my son. He might you know, enjoy doing something with it. We'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Here, put that to the side. Let's see. Okay. So, oh, uh, Paul wasn't lying. This is, this is definitely a lot of broken HeroScape stuff. So, I'll, add, I'll definitely add this to the pile of other Broken HeroScape stuff that I have. HeroScape kind of stuff, and yeah, there's more, yeah, there's more bigger ones here. So, there's one in the box, in the box. Now let's take a look at what miniatures we have here. What interesting things we have in here. Let's take a look. Okay, oh, interesting. This is a, okay, this is a dwarf. Maybe I can use it for something sometime. A dwarf miniature. That's it. What's one you can unbase and then put a hero escape base on it? And oh, okay, it's like a gargoyle, gargoyle type guy. Let's see here. Oh. And maybe I can use these. Look, there's another dwarf. Maybe I can like use these dwarfs as proxies for uh, uh, for the dwarf. Oh, what's that dwarf squad called? Uh, uh, axe grinders, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use these proxies for axe grinders, maybe. Can always use some proxies, yeah, because there's there's a bunch of them. So thank you, Paul. All right, and then this is a sign. It kind of looks like a spatula. <laughs> and let's see what else. Okay, we have a knight. Kind of like a knight thing. Nice something like that. And then here is like a, another, hmm, what type of miniature this would be? But it's small, I could, I could use it as another Dwarven proxy. Oh, that's, that's kind of nice. Stand it here. Now 
what's this? Okay, this is, I have no idea. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm looking at it. I'm trying to read what's on this. Okay. It's a cone. Another cone. Okay, oh, another door. Oh, that's cool. And then, okay, kind of like those plastic soldiers. Then another shoulder. My goodness, these are old miniatures. Wow. Let me see. And another blue one. Some of these I might give to my son. He's five years old. He appreciates some of these. And a tree. And this is uh, okay, a blocky thing. And some of these signs are nice. Let's see here, look at ours in here. Yeah, we have. Oh, that's nice. Uh, and we have a ninja with his head chopped off. Let's see here. And Justin says, Nothing says I love you more than a, the gift of a spatula. I tell you what, you know, you always need a good spatula. But, but look at that. Now, this is a ninja with his head cut off. I could probably use that for animation sometime in the future because I know um, like when I do future seasons of, of Tales of Valhalla uh, more than likely it's going to have like an like a undead zombies taking over Valhalla type of thing so I could do something with that see, and then there's a oh my goodness yeah look at that hey, heads chopped off hey 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 and here's <laughs> Here's a here's a Drake Alexander with its head chopped off. Wait, wait, wait. That's the here. Okay, and this is a this is a fourth Massachusetts line that's been disarmed. <laughs> Literally disarmed. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's a little dragon here. Look at that dragon. Yeah, it's kind of a cool dragon. And what else? Let's see here. We got Niguk Saw with its head chopped off too. Oh, of course. And then what do we have here? We have we have we have another ninja with its head chopped off. <coughs> now as a stop motion animator, there's many things I could I could definitely do with these things. Let me see, yep, okay, yep, yep. Got a samurai with its head chopped off there. Got um a Krav Maga with, uh, well, one of, the, one of its arms off. Its head's still on. But one of its arms off. And then another disarmed fourth mass. Interesting. Now, if a fourth mass is disarmed, could you still play it? I don't know. And this is just, this, this Viking has a leg off. Just as the the only damaged figure I have is Captain America figure that my parents' dog chewed up 15 years ago. Ah. Captain America faces family dog. Oh, that's an interesting little. That's an interesting little object there. Hmm. Let's see here. Another crop here. Boop. And what else? Oh, just some other than things. Now this is a nice little, this is an interesting little crystal thing. Yeah. Maybe I could use that for something. What else is there here? Okay, just a couple more things. Oh, interesting. Again. Soldier without a head. And yeah, everything, everything else is just. Oh, let's see. There's, there's an axe down here. There's an axe. But besides that, um, oh wait a minute, huh? Here's one of the fourth ma fourth mass's arms. You glue that. I'm just looking real quick at the anything else I see that stay out there. Oh, okay. Oh, and of course, it wouldn't be complete without uh, Lego in it. So. Yeah, and JJ says, I'm pretty sure almost all my figures have received some fire damage or smoke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a tough thing when it comes to the fire. But you know, hey, 
they still play you know it's just you, know, you 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 have what you work with you know um but yeah I, I think i think in the morning my son is gonna have some fun with uh with some of these miniatures i'm sure he'll be he'll be happy with some of these and i'm happy with with the other stuff so yeah yeah cool yeah. awesome 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 anyway okay everything's off to the side here and you can't really see it here hold on hold on a moment. Let me bring this over. There, it's all there. As in demons here. Yeah. So yeah, that, as we say, is that for tonight. See, it's 10 o'clock. Okay. Nearly an hour. Yeah, a little over an hour into the stream. So I think I can say that I've checked off my streaming box pretty good. So your team ski um, says, I think the disc is to catapults and crossbows. Which one? And hi, team ski. I don't know if you ever commented before, but welcome to the stream. Um, you mean this one? That's kind of cool. I, I, I kind of like it. That is kind of cool. But yeah, so, and again, thank thank you, Paul, for uh, this this uh, lovely mix of, of things that are broken, but still still could be possibly useful. And then Team Ski. Yes, okay. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting disc. Pretty interesting disc. <laughs> All right. So... What I'll do then is I'll begin to wind down and sign off for tonight. And hopefully this Sunday I'll be feeling a lot better and uh, we will do something. <laughs> uh, pro probably more um, a special effect editing for the Nigok Saw step motion short that, that I'm currently making and plan to release sometime in the coming months. And we're, we're wrapping up on that, so probably get to that. <laughs> and then... Uh, JJ, just so you know, next TOV podcast we're going to do would be on April 14th, around 9.30 p.m. EST, just so you know. Um, and if you can't do that, then we can, we can schedule it for a TOV podcast like uh, a couple weeks after that one. But um, reach, reach out to me, reach out to me, and, and, and we'll figure it out. It gives me, gives me a little bit of time to, to read your book and... Uh, and get a feel of uh, of your your writing style a little bit, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll think about it. But definitely, um, yeah, speak to the community, join the community. I don't know if you're on Discord, JJ, or not, but uh, a lot of us. I mean, HeroScape has Discord. Uh, my my channel has a Discord, and links links description below for everything. And Team Ski, um, yeah, again, welcome and. Uh, and it's a, it's a shame that I have to say hi and go, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some rest. Try to overcome this whatever cold or whatever whatever this thing is. Just join your Discord. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely be in touch then for sure. Um, but with that, I mean, like I said, compelling story. I, I'm I'm so happy that you you wrote it, and um, it's great to have uh, your mom and your wife hop on board too. Um, uh, to see that and hopefully it could spread out more I, what I'll probably do is I'll probably segment when I have time I, I'm a little bit behind my editing um, but I'll probably segment out that portion of the stream so it becomes its own video on the regular video feed um, so that way it can maybe uh, reach more people on it um, but yeah yeah it was an honor and uh, yeah thank you so much for getting that out there sir but with that, I uh, again thank you all for watching. Uh, Team Ski, uh, Justin, um, everyone else, thank you so much uh, for your comments, uh, being in the chat tonight. Um, it's uh, this is one of the reasons why I love having this channel is uh, to to be able to uh, share these types of things. So so love it, and uh, let's uh, let's keep on going, huh? All right, all right. Thank you all. And I'll say what I always say for these things. You have a purpose in your life. Find it, pursue it, and live it. 
and we'll see all you guys hopefully this sunday i'll feel better <laughs> we'll see uh, have a great night see you all later take care now bye bye